I'm Stuart Fuel. I'm the Central Arkansas Library System Social Media Coordinator. I'm here with Garbo Hearn, the director of Hearn Fine Art, Pyramid Arts Books Let me Framing. Help. Yeah, please do. It's Pyramid Art Books and Custom Framing and Hearn Fine Art. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I know it's a long name, but you know. It's all in one. It's all, it's in, all in one, one order. Okay. All yeah. in one order. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but you're also involved this year with the Six Bridges Book Festival, not for the first time. Yes. Um, you're on the talent committee. Correct. I would love to know all about the talent committee. How many people are on the talent committee to start? I think they're like 15 to 20 people. 15 to 20 I mean, people? Just, you know, in, in, in any given time, 20 people may show up at the meeting. You know, everybody's not available, but I think it's at least 20 people. And they're all people who remember. are just here in our community, or, or do people drive in from other places? Well, actually, we meet via Zoom. We used to meet in person. But of course, we've been meeting via Zoom. So I think it's uh, it's a diverse group of people, age, mm -hmm. gender, interests. It's very uh, open, and, and people bring their um, thoughts to the table of artists and authors that they want to see at the festival. And so it's a, it's it's that melding of ideas, and then you know everybody presents their ideas, and then we vote, and then Brad, of course, puts all the vote in. Who want? Who gets the most votes? So it's it's very uh, uh, it's a democratic way of doing it in terms of making sure that everybody's voice is heard and that the whole group inputs on what they think would be interesting. So just because a, an author or an artist is nominated for inclusion in the book festival doesn't necessarily mean that they'll be exactly a part of it. Exactly. Um, where does the process go from there once you've decided who you want to invite? Then the, they are invited. Okay. And they're given all the specifications of what the festival uh, requests of them and if they're available. And, of course, some are invited to come and some are, when they're not available, they're invited to be participate via Zoom. So that's been really helpful to, you know, keep the, the festival wide open and broad right. in terms of the offerings of of artists, Just authors the, in a sense. The last couple of years it's opened up mm -hmm. and truly become you know, essentially an international book festival. Yes. Last year, of course, we had uh, Helen Oyeyeme from Holland, right. joined us from Holland. Right. Um, just folks from all over the place are able right. to join us right. now and not necessarily yeah. places with an airport that comes to Little Rock. Exactly. Right. And then, and, you know, it's just the idea of being able to reach out to people and say, you know, we're excited about your upcoming book. We, we try to get books that are coming just being published before in the fall so they're new books conversation so that's you know that's that's what brings readers back is you know read you know reading and listening mm -hmm. to their favorite authors and you know finding out what they're doing now and being on the forefront of books that just came out and so that's what really makes it exciting so what are the criteria that the the talent committee looks for when they're suggesting authors to the group? Well, I think it starts with your personal interest. Okay. And, you know, obviously the people on the talent committee are readers. They, you know, they spend a lot of time, you know, in that book world, so they know what interests them. So I think it's not necessarily that we're looking for big names. We're looking for good literature mm -hmm. and, you know, bringing subjects to the forefront that may not. And, you know, sometimes we put... Um, uh, I guess a program together with two authors that may have a uh, different viewpoints on a particular subject matter or we'll have you know like ex programming that's fun like we'll have chefs to come in and do different uh, recipes and things like that so we try to make it fun it's serious and fun and you know because the whole point is to keep our children interested and we have a really good children's program that we have at the Hillary Clinton Library that that's very that's grown. Little Readers Rock. Little Readers Rock, and the Junior League has been helping with that. So mm -hmm. I think the the festival is um, a citywide collaboration of getting the whole you know Central Arkansas involved. So that's what it's really involved about. And it starts with the talent committee, but they're all types of people that you know send in books that are brought to us. So it's not just the talent committee that decides, you know, their Brad gets a lot of recommendations from people and, you know, a lot of self published authors will send their books in and we, we look at every everybody who sends their book in, we look at it. So everybody's given an opportunity. Do you feel that the 
the diversity that you mentioned on the talent committee is reflected in the author lineup from year to year? I think so. I think so. I think that, you know, the more you do something, you're going to get better at it. Mm -hmm. And I think that the the festival is improving year to year. So definitely looking at the lineup this year, I mean, it speaks for itself for sure. Are there any authors in particular that you're excited about this well, year? Definitely. Um, Charlie Palmer. Okay. Um, I've worked uh, probably for the last six or seven years to make sure that we have a, a children's book illustrator who also lives in the world of fine art as well. So mm -hmm. this year uh, we're bringing in Charlie Palmer, who's based in Atlanta. And he has um, illustrated nine books, and he's uh, written and illustrated one of the books. So he's fairly a newcomer to this, um, to illustrating children's books. He's first uh, book was Mama Africa in 2018, and he won a uh, Coretta Scott King John Newcomb Award for uh, Newcomer. Right. So that was exciting for him, and so he's really taken off with that. And uh, But also he's been um, a fine artist for the, probably the last 30 years, so this is a, a new window for him. So to get him to come and, you know, expose him, you know, experience the both worlds and we're able to collaborate with my gallery, Hearn Fine Art, where we will have an example of those illustrations along with his fine art. So we're excited to present that opportunity as well. And Garbo Hearn, I can't think of a, a better person to be on the talent committee to bring those two interests of, of books and art together, mm -hmm. especially for, for kids. There's so much great art and great children's books, uh, those things blended together. So thank mm -hmm. you for being here and telling us about the talent committee. Thank uh, you. And we'll see you at the festival. All right, looking forward to it. Mm -hmm.